Last night in the House of Commons, we began debate on Bill S-243, uh, an act to amend the Income Tax Act and uh, establish reporting mechanisms on the tax gap and convictions for income tax evasion. So Senator Percy Down was the author of this bill, and uh, it was passed in the Senate this past fall. And what this bill will do if it's passed by the House of Commons is uh, direct the Canada Revenue Agency to report on convictions for tax evasion and to distinguish between domestic and foreign tax evasion. It will also uh, compel the Canada Revenue Agency to measure and report on the gap between the income tax that it believes is owed under the, the Income Tax Act and what it actually collects. So in other words, to measure tax evasion. Also, the report or this bill will require the CRA to report data to the Parliamentary Budget Officer so that the Parliamentary Budget Officer can independently establish the income tax gap. So this is really important right now because we just had an Auditor General's report that said the Canada Revenue Agency treats people with foreign and offshore accounts differently than those who do not. People with offshore transactions are sometimes given months or even years to comply with the Canada Revenue Agency, and sometimes they just drop the file and don't even assess any taxes, even when the tax filer is not complying with their requests for information. Regular folks do not get that kind of treatment. If you do not have offshore accounts, and you ignore or cannot uh, comply or don't comply with a request from the CRA, they just reassess you and, and pile on penalties after 90 days. But for those with offshore transactions, the, uh, the treatment has been different, according to the Auditor General. Um, Canadians might actually be shocked to know how few convictions there are for tax evasion in general, and especially how few there are for those with offshore transactions. The Panama Papers and Paradise Papers, uh, those uh, leaks came out years ago and there have still been no charges laid and no convictions for tax evasion despite the hundreds of Canadians named in those two uh, data leaks. So this is a timely bill and an important bill to make sure that the Canada Revenue Agency treats all Canadians fairly. Uh, important to make sure the Canada Revenue Agency understands the problem of tax evasion and that they are uh, transparent in their efforts to combat tax evasion and with the results uh, from conviction.